What's up everybody? This is Brian and Benjamin Tercetto and we are the Tercetto Agency right here in the beautiful Santa Fe, New Mexico. In this video, we're going to give you six steps to make your relocation to Santa Fe much less stressful. If this is your first time on this channel, welcome. We're here to get you educated on what it's like to become a Santa Fe local. So make sure you click on that subscribe button so that way you're notified every single time we release a new video. Let's get started. Moving anywhere is an inherently stressful process. Between the logistics of everything that you need to take care of wherever it is that you're coming from and making sure that everything's lined up wherever you're going. I and mean, there's so many things to keep in the air at once. There are movers, cleaners, documents, appointments, inspectors, and on and on and on. Plus, you still have your normal life to live in the meantime. Now, this is where step one comes in. Reach out to us first and foremost, like right now, do it. Send us an email or a text or give us a call. We're here to help you make this transition so much easier. See, the average person, they move a handful of times in their lives, but for us, this is our expertise. We help people make this move every single day, and we try to make that transition as smooth as possible. Our team is here to be your feet on the ground. We have the experience and the knowledge to get you the best possible results on our end. And yes, we can even advise you on what you should be doing on your end. See, we know the places, we know the people, we know this process. You don't have to do this alone, so don't. Maybe, maybe you feel like you're not quite ready yet, but the truth is that the sooner you get this thing started, the easier it's gonna be. Yes, you should be gathering as much info as possible from the internet, but there's no better resource than the people that have lived here for generations. Our goal, our number one goal, is to help you be prepared before you get here because there is nothing worse than taking a long flight back and forth and feeling like you have nothing to show for it. So instead of making a fruitless trip, first reach out to us. We'll start with a phone call or a video chat so that we can get to know each other and so that we can get to know what your specific needs are. We'll be nothing but 100% honest about what's going on in our market and we'll give you the best strategies for accomplishing your real estate goals. That way when you get here, we'll ensure that your valuable time is used in the best way possible. There are a lot of neighborhoods in Santa Fe and the reality is that only a handful of them will fit your needs. So that is where we will be sure to focus our energy. So click the links below and you'll get access to schedule an appointment so that we can get this process started. All right, step two to make your move to Santa Fe easier is to secure your financing before you get here. If your home purchase is going to involve any level of financing, we are super happy to introduce you to a local lender that we work with in the area. We have partnered with amazing local mortgage lenders who like us are focused on making sure that you are aware of all the options you have available to you. Someone who's gonna take the time to listen to your needs, educate you on the entire process, they're gonna provide you with a high level of service so that way you feel educated and informed and in control of the entire process. Now, of course, you are welcome to use whomever you'd like. We understand that most people have a long standing relationship with their bank or their lending institutions. Many of our clients have come to realize though that the benefits of working with a local lender, someone who intimately knows our market, understands our contracts, and most importantly, understands our homes. Look, they don't call Santa Fe the city different for no reason. Many of our authentic Pueblo style homes are built out of adobe, which are essentially mud bricks laid out to bake and harden in the sun. We have flat roofs and all kinds of unique land layouts where homes intersect with each other on zero lot lines. We consider them single family residences, but will your lender? I'm sure that out of state lenders have done just fine for you in the past, but the question is, can they handle the unique situations you're gonna find in Santa Fe? You don't wanna get 30 days into a transaction. Everyone's counting on this closing. You have your moving trucks lined up, the seller of the home has already moved out and they're moving to Seattle or someplace. They can't close in their home until this one does. And then the lender comes back apologizing because they can't close the deal. Why? Because they're underwriters sitting somewhere in some cubicle, in some office, in some big city. They don't understand why the home they're about to lend $600,000 on in Santa Fe is built out of mud bricks. This is a true story. It's happened. Now, of course, it's going to allow us to put on our Superman cape, come save the day, introduce you to a local lender who then has to scramble to do an entirely new loan and get it done as quickly as possible. But this is gonna add so much unnecessary stress that you can be just avoid. You wanna work with a local lender who has a track record of success, that instills confidence in the listing agent, knowing that the local lender can get the job done, and on time, so that way you're more likely to have your offer accepted. This lender is gonna be responsive to your communications just like us. They'll respond to your phone calls, 
text messages, emails, anytime you have a question about the process or there's something that you don't understand. We're happy to make the introduction for you so that way you'll know that you're in good hands on the lending side. A smooth transaction is all about putting the right team together. Choose us first and then let us introduce you to the people that we have built solid relationships with and who have proven that they want to serve our clients with the same high level of customer service. The entire experience from start to finish is important to us and our goal is to make this the best real estate experience that you've ever had. So that way when you're enjoying your new home in Santa Fe, you have the confidence to recommend us to your family and friends. When people find out you moved to Santa Fe, everyone's going to get excited. You're going to have long lost relatives calling you out of the blue asking if they can stay with you because they've always wanted to visit Santa Fe. If your spare bedroom or your casita, and that's what we call guest houses here, casitas, if your casita is too comfortable, they're never going to want to leave. There's way too many restaurants to try, too many margaritas to sample. It could take weeks, months to try them all. Introduce us. We can help them find their own place in Santa Fe too, and they're going to come back and thank you for the introduction. All right, step number three, let's get down to the nitty gritty. It's time to put together a customized search for the homes that match your needs. Now, the sooner we can do this, the better. Maybe you don't have specific needs. Maybe you're just looking for a roof over your head and you also have an endless supply of time and money. In that case, we will send you every single house that comes on the market from one to 10 bedrooms. But for the rest of us people that have a goal in mind, it's vital to get your criteria set. That way, our website only sends you houses that you're actually interested in. And with that said, it is important that you have someone who's completely honest with you. So if you tell me that your criteria consists of four bedroom, three bathrooms, with a huge yard and a few Kiva fireplaces, also a pool for morning laps and a chef's kitchen, well, I'll find you that. But if you then follow that up with your price range being 500,000-ish, uh, it'll be time for some real talk. Now, the reality is that the market is what it is. And your goal price range is the biggest factor in the selections that we'll have together. Now keep in mind also that most homes are going for over list price, which is significant to the price range that we may need to search within to find you your home. We have a very intuitive and interactive website platform that gives you access to all of the available homes in Santa Fe. And the beauty is that once you've set it, you can forget it. Our site and our team will do all the work from that point forward. Just mark the homes you love and ignore the ones that you don't. And we will take care of everything from there. And when you use our site, we get to collaborate with you by seeing what you love and what you ignore. And the more familiar and focused that you get with your goals, we can then fine tune your search so that you only get homes that hit the mark. All that said, I need to drop in a very important caveat. You will never find the perfect home. There, I said it. Don't throw rocks or shade at me. It's just the truth. See, I've seen people buy land, hire architects, engineers, and contractors, and still be like 85% happy with their homes. Our rule of thumb is this. If it fulfills 75% of your criteria, write an offer because most other homes will land somewhere between 40 and 60% of the items on your list. I've had clients miss out on beautiful homes because they didn't like the color of the garage door. And guess what? After they let that house go, they found houses with great garage doors, but everything else was nowhere near the mark. So don't miss out on the right house now because you're looking for the perfect one sometime later. You will regret it and I want to help you avoid that pain. So let's get specific about what you need, what you absolutely need, the non-negotiables. Write them down and we'll never ask you to compromise on those. You may need to be more flexible on your negotiable items, but only time will tell. At the end of the day, we're here to help you find a home that you and your loved ones can live your best lives in. So here we are on step number four, setting up your tour dates. It's starting to get exciting. You've done your research, you've watched our videos, and now you're ready to take it to the next step. So whether this is, hey, we're going to Santa Fe to have a look around trip, or hey, this is the trip that we're gonna buy a home in Santa Fe, our team is here and we have you covered. Now, if we've done our job so far with our videos, we have you feeling like a local and you have a clear plan on how you're going to be spending your time while you're here with us. But you still might be feeling a little bit nervous on how it's all gonna to come together. Look, we get it. Taking time off to get to Santa Fe, booking your airfare, finding a good place to stay, you're investing a good amount of money just to get here. And then on top of all that, you might be worried you're gonna get stuck with a dud of a realtor that won't be available to you when you need them. And then you have to figure out how to salvage your trip. Well, let's take that concern off the table right now. Call us first and we will help you add the entire Santa Fe home search. We'll build the trip around your schedule. Let us know when you're coming, what days you wanna look at houses and what days you'd like to have off. We'll work around your leisure time. 
We know you can't come to Santa Fe and only look at houses. You're probably gonna wanna try one of those delicious restaurants we've been talking about. And you might even wanna take in some sightseeing. We work with people from out of state all the time and we understand where you're coming from. We understand what you need to accomplish and we are gonna do our best to make the best use of our time together. We're gonna to work to squeeze as many homes in for you to see and make every hour that we spend together impactful. So that way when you're headed home on your airplane flight, you're gonna be able to breathe a sigh of relief because you know the time here was well spent. You know now that moving to Santa Fe is definitely a possibility. You've narrowed down the areas in town that you like and you don't like, and you've even found a home or two that you could see yourself living in. So I just made a big promise to you that we will be available to show you homes on your schedule when you want. So how do we do that? Well, in order for us to provide our clients with the high level of service, we have built our team in a way that we have showing agents that all that they do and their only job is to make themselves available to show you homes when you get here. They are constantly in the market, networking with other agents, checking the inventory, previewing homes and getting things set up so that way when you get to Santa Fe, you can hit the ground running to maximize your time. And they have the time to dedicate to you to show you the properties you've been wanting to see based on the search criteria that we've been working on together. And of course, we're gonna make it work around your schedule. Okay, that all sounds great, but what happens if you can't get to Santa Fe and the perfect house in the perfect location just hit the market? Don't stress, we got you covered there too. We can do a virtual showing, go visit the home, connect with you on FaceTime or the video conference app that you like the best, and we're gonna use that to walk you through the home. I just sold the home to a gal in London, sight unseen. She fell in love with Santa Fe, she connected with us online, and she told us that her job allows her to work from anywhere. Sounds pretty familiar, right? She just wanted to be in Santa Fe, and she outlined exactly what she was looking for. After some time, the perfect home hit the market, and she wanted this house. We got to work, did the virtual showing, wrote an offer sight unseen, beat out dozens of competitors, walked her through the entire process virtually, coordinated all the inspections and vendors to get in and out, closed the deal with her still in London, and now she's jumping on a plane to come see her new Santa Fe home for the first time. That sounds crazy, I know, but the real estate market is so competitive, sometimes that's what you have to do. So when you leave Santa Fe, maybe you didn't find the home you love on this trip, we can help you keep an eye out and look at homes virtually, even when you get back home. And if necessary, we can handle the entire transaction, taking care of all the details without you even being here, which will give you time to focus on tying up all the loose ends that you need to be able to sell your home to move to Santa Fe. Okay, so you've reached out to us, you've secured your financing, you've customized your search, and you've scheduled the dates that you're gonna be in town. Now it's time to view what is available and to start putting in offers. Out with the way that the market is right now, you cannot expect to put in one offer and get it accepted. It's possible, not likely. The National Association of Realtors noted that in 2021, houses received four offers on average. That means that there were three other buyers that wanted the home, envisioned Christmas morning in the home, started shopping for furniture for the home, and ultimately lost lots of sleep over that home. And then they didn't get the home. Now, that was 2021. And to be honest, I was expecting a plateau of that chaos for 2022, but guess what? It's only gotten worse. We're seeing anywhere from eight to 30 offers per house this year. The competition is very strong, and this isn't just Santa Fe. This is nationwide. Since COVID, houses have become more important than ever, and people are doing whatever it takes to get them. The stronger your offer, the better off you're gonna be. This is not a market to be lowballing the seller. If they're asking 525,000 and you offer 520,000, I can pretty much guarantee your offer will be eliminated before round one of eliminations even starts. That is just not the market that we're in. And we can fight or complain about that all day, all year, all decade long, but that complaining won't get you a house, unfortunately. The reality is that we need to be prepared to write the strongest offer possible. Now, what does that look like? Well, it looks like writing an offer you know you can still get some sleep after buying the house. Because if you can't sleep, then what's the point? But this isn't a time to try and get a deal. So what does that offer look like? Right now, we're looking at anywhere from 15 to 25% over list price. Yes, you heard me right. $1 million homes are selling for an additional 150 to $250,000 over list price. I just saw a $250,000 condo go under contract for close to 100,000 over the list price. It's a hard pill to swallow, but it is the truth. And other realtors might tell you otherwise that they can win your business or something, but they won't be helping you when it comes to winning a house. Now, this does work on a case-by-case -case scenario. It's what you can expect from houses that are new to the market within the past one to two weeks. But there is another side of the market that I will let you in on. 
This is for people where getting a deal is the most important factor when buying a house, which I completely get. I love deals. If that is you, then you need to wait for the houses that have survived the market's onslaught for over two weeks. See, once we get to this point, it's much easier to throw in an offer 10 to 20,000 under the list price and get it either accepted or at least counter offered with a discount on that list price. If you're a cash buyer, you have the advantage of a quick closing, but that doesn't mean that you can write a lowball offer because sellers just won't consider it, even if you offered to close the next day for the most part. Now, if you're writing an offer with a loan, most sellers want you to guarantee that you're gonna cover any difference between the appraisal amount and the contract amount in cash because your lender typically won't lend you any amount over the appraised value. I will say I've not had a single home that didn't appraise in the past year and a half, but it is a risk that many buyers are having to take on right now. Additionally, many buyers are waiving their inspection rights to get the house that they're bidding on. So things are getting very challenging for buyers, which leads me to my next point. If your budget is 500,000, then it may be best to shop in the 400,000 range because the odds of us facing competition is very high. There is one exception to this trend that we've observed, new construction. Getting new construction under contract is difficult because there are still so many other buyers trying to do the same thing, but if we're fast enough and we're always ready on our end, then we can get new construction homes under contract for the price that it is listed. No bid wars. There are a lot of other things that I can say and every situation will have its differences. So I'll just end this section here by telling you just once again, reach out to us so that we can get a game plan together. And finally at number six is guiding you through the buying process. And really, more than anything, that just comes down to having strong lines of communication and making sure everybody knows what's happening, keeping you in the loop, and making sure that you have the right expectations for each step in the process. I mean, let's be honest, there's a lot that's going on and there's a lot to think about when moving to a new area. A lot of people are wrapping up things in their current city, they're juggling things around to coordinate to move to a new city, and while we are here to help you take care of everything on the Santa Fe side, by of course giving you access to our network of trusted vendors, inspectors, title companies, lenders, and then coordinate everything for closing, we also have a large network of strong agents across the country that can help you with the sale of your home in your current location. And they'll keep those lines of communication open so that way we can work on all the logistics together, making sure your move to Santa Fe is as streamlined and as efficient as possible. We're gonna do a much better job of that by working closely with your agent on the sale of your home and understanding the timeframes for your home being sold there. So. If you'd like a strong referral to an agent to help you sell your home, let us know and we'll take care of that too. Really, it's just our goal to provide you with all the resources you need to make your move to Santa Fe as easy as possible and to have your next home ready and perfect for you. So that way, all you have to do is step inside, pop a bottle of champagne, make a toast to new beginnings, and then kick your feet up. Really, it all goes back to step number one, taking some time to reach out to us. My team and I absolutely love taking phone calls, connecting with new people and starting to help them with their plans to move to Santa Fe. Now, if you do all these six things, you'll be saving yourself a world of headaches during your relocation to Santa Fe. So please take this advice seriously. I love serving all of the buyers for our team and ultimately, I want this to be an amazingly smooth experience for you. If there are any other questions that you have or if you're thinking about moving or relocating to Santa Fe seriously, make sure that you give us a call, shoot us a text or an email, or leave us a comment down below. However you wanna get a hold of us, we're here to serve you in your move to the Santa Fe area. Let us be your guide.